One pushed B. Bomb flight. Shit. Top on top. On bomb. Nice. Good shit. Last man oh, one standing. outside. It was a shotgun. Nice. No. It has been far too long, but man, it feels so good to be back. What's going on, guys? It's Rage, and for the first time in over three years, welcome back to some Battalion 1944, now known as Battalion Legacy. So here today on August 16th, Battalion 1944 has officially gone free-to-play here on Steam. Again, it's rebranded over here to Battalion Legacy. So for those of you guys that maybe haven't been around on the channel for quite a while, Battalion 1944 is a game that I have been super passionate about since I saw the initial Jack Frags video that was uploaded in February of 2016. I was so excited for this game when it came out. I made a handful of videos on it covering things like major updates and I truly do love this game and like what the overall vision of this game is because basically the best way that I can describe Battalion 1944 is if COD 2 and COD 4 Pro Mod had a baby. It's competitive mode Wartide is basically COD 4 Pro Mod and Counter-Strike mixed together. It's, it's so awesome. Now to quickly give you guys the cliff notes on basically what's happened with this game. The game initially launched in February of 2018 and if I'm remembering this correctly, the game actually released earlier than anticipated. I feel like I remember the devs talking about something that uh, their partnership with Google ended early. They had to release the game early and a lot of servers just weren't really ready at the time. The game released early. It just simply wasn't ready yet. But then uh, later in that summer of 2018 came Major Update 2, which was a nice revamp to the entire game, including the Wartide system. And then here in May and June of 2019 was when they were starting to incorporate Face It and Battalion 1.0 had officially released. Like this was the official release of the game. And it stayed pretty well populated throughout the course of summer 2019, especially for it being a very niche, old-school World War II shooter. But as time moved on, they stopped supporting this game, and Bulkhead had moved on to their next project, which was ProMod. Then ProMod had a couple of uh, weapon testing and just prototypes, but we haven't heard anything about that either, so I, I don't know what's happened with that. So here with this being the final update to Battalion, we got uh, some new weapons that were added to the game. We got a whole bunch of uh, British weapons. Got this Jungle Carbine, which uh, basically Basically looks like a smaller caliber Lee Enfield, I would assume. Certified classic, we got the Sten here. Got the Lewis Gun LMG, which is actually kind of a nice surprise. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, we got the British Thompson. Looks pretty sick, honestly. Can't complain about that. Got ourselves a little Webley revolver, which is also really sick. And lastly here, we got the Enfield, both with an iron sight and with the scope. What I actually really like about the scope is that it is very reminiscent of COD 2. I, I adore that. I was just saying this a little bit ago, but the thing that I absolutely adore about Battalion is the fact that it is practically COD 2 and COD 4 Pro Mod coming together. And the idea of that in a competitive setting, in a competitive World War II setting, that's like, I, I love that so much. This game to me is something that I really, really wanted to take off. Now, I'm not saying that a battalion would have like dethroned Counter-Strike or anything like that, because there, there's really going to be no new competitive shooter that really dethrones Counter-Strike in that sense. I know that Valorant obviously has its appeal and everything like that. And again, I was just never expecting battalion to like really go that intergalactic as a World War II competitive shooter, right? But for me though, I really wanted this to be the game that I just fell in love with in a new competitive sense, and it really is just a shame that it never truly took off the way that I wanted it to. I'm not trying to make it sound super selfish or anything like that, but I really did love the vision that Bulkhead had for this game, and it's just, it's sad that it just didn't play out the way that I wanted it to, as well as I'm assuming the devs obviously wanted it to. Now, what I noticed, though, is that uh, I spawned in instantly with an STG, and that's typically not how this works. Um... That is a frag, not not a smoke. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, it was simply a misinput. Now, I think they changed the buy system entirely because, oh my God. Looks like they fully revamped the buy system because uh, the way that it would work is that you would use uh, faction-specific weapons. Like, obviously, on the Germans, you would use things like the STG, MP44, MP40, car, all that good stuff, right? But now it looks like even being on the Americans, you can use uh, other factions' weapons, which is pretty cool, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird in liking uh, using the faction-specific weapons. I suppose it is kind of cool though i just don't know if there's a limit to uh what we can buy because they also got rid of the the tokens it looks like they got rid of the economy in, entirely but yeah that's actually something that i noticed because i was playing this on live stream yesterday and the way that wartide worked or at least the way that the economy worked in this game was through coins 
it's basically like a very similar system to what Counter-Strike was and like you had your uh, values where if you wanted to buy a scoped weapon like a Springfield or a car it would cost like six or seven tokens and things like your typical uh, STG MP40 and whatnot would cost like three or four. <laughs> Not really sure why they went ahead and changed that, and I also don't think anymore there's like an official uh, ranking system to this game anymore. Which would kind of make sense considering it's now free to play, but I also do think it would have been really nice to at least keep some sort of ranking system in the game. Because even though the game's free to play and everything, I still think that having a ranking system and just something to work towards is uh, definitely something that will keep players entertained and wanting to, you know, keep progressing within the game. Almost got the 3k. I was looking through my inventory earlier and I completely forgot that I have a bar fade. This thing looks awesome. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion. I mean, I do find it kind of cool that now we can use like every gun in the game regardless of faction. But I don't know if I really like the changes to the economy. It just doesn't seem like there is one anymore. And I feel like for a competitive shooter, again, like CSGO, Valorant, whatever it may be, I don't really know how uh, Rainbow Six and whatnot works, but I like the idea of having an economy. I feel like it encourages more teamwork and working together. And speaking of working together, I just realized I also got rid of voice chat. I got you, man. I'm also just now realizing that you don't even have to pay for smokes or frags anymore. You just get them by default. Very unconventional way of uh, getting to A site, but uh, I'm not really complaining. Hold on, let me just do this. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I had a sneaking suspicion someone was gonna be sitting in here. Got the iron sight Mosin, man. Looking really nice. Now, by the point in time that the Mosin was added to this game, I think this was uh, at some point in 2019 when the Face It integration happened. I never really got to use this very much, so I'm excited to try this. As someone with a scope, you don't get smokes, which I kind of get- That should have been a collat. You're lying to me. Stop it. Now, what I also don't know with the weapon skins in this game, I don't know if just nobody has their skins on, or if you can't see what uh, custom skins they have on their weapons. If you can't see, like, what other players have what skin on. Axis win. Oh, he was prone. Good try. They got things like team deathmatch, rifles only. Let's give it a shot. Is this? Oh, I found where they spawn, or at least where their static spawn is. Hello? Oh yeah, that's right. They don't even call it War Tide anymore. It's literally just search and destroy. My goodness, man, the Enfield looks and feels amazing. Now, I will say, though, whatever they just did to Manor House V2, like, this map looks so bright, and it's actually so pretty. Like, oh my goodness. I can't hit his arm. Oh, no. Shooting my body. Unbelievable. T-Town, Alabama, bro. That's so rude. Shooting my body and teabagging me. Dude, how could you? Ruin the game that had 40 to 60 total players. Game has 1,500 right now, so it doesn't seem too ruined to me. Running fine. The dick riding is crazy. They like the game and don't want it to die, but they remove voice chat and calm. The game's gonna die without voice chat. I know I was saying this earlier, but I really don't like the removal of voice chat. That, and I'm not sure how I still really feel about this change towards search and destroy. I still think that keeping Wartide and maybe some sort of, like, way within a server browser to have some sort of rank mayhapsingly would have been really nice, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, he was the last one alive, too. Nice. There's two. Three. That is horrible timing. Oh, that's horrible timing. No, 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 no. There we go. Nice little 4K. I'll take that. Now, I actually really would like to play this map, Vanguard, but uh, everyone left me, so I'm all alone in this server. I really do like and support the idea of this game going free to play, but I just, I, I can't help but shake. I really don't like how they changed Wartide and got rid of the ranks. I can kind of see where they're coming from being a free to play game now. There's not really a point in ranks. Uh, they also got rid of their uh, Face It connection with this game now, so you're no longer required to have a Face It profile. I'm glad they were able to uh, send it off on this note. This is a game, again, that I actually really do love and do want to see uh, continue going into the future. But if that's just not where Bulkhead is at and they're not going to be uh, updating this game anymore, then obviously what am I going to do? But I still think it would have been really nice to at least have some sort of, like, rank and leveling system to at least, like, you know, show progress through this game. Because even though I still have my uh, weapon skins and everything that I had unlocked while this game was still going, I can't see my combat record and stats from previous seasons going all the way back to 2018. I, I guess that's just gone now and, like... 
everything that I had done for a rank at the time is just gone. I do think what could have been a really cool idea is like still keep the rank system with like all of the unlocks that you would get. The free weapon skins and war chests, which were basically their supply drops. But it looks like they also took those out of the game entirely. So uh, maybe what I was saying earlier, maybe people don't see what weapon skins you have on anymore. And it's just like the market is just gone for it. At its core though, I can't stress this enough. I do love this game for what it is and for what it represents. It is still some great fun just to hop in and play for some fun. But uh, it, again, I just, uh, I, I wish that there was ranks, but oh well. So on that note though, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this Battalion 1944 video. I really did love coming back and playing this game again. It's so lovely to see that there's still like a community that cares so much for this game and just even willing to check it out being free to play. So again, if this is of interest, go ahead, check it out. It's literally free. Once again, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Rage and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.